Skoda for the most part is a maker of vehicles that are sensible but also a bit dull. Cars such as the Fabia Super Mini, the Superb Estate and the Kuroc SUV, brilliantly designed, practical, intelligently designed as well, but they're not going to set your heart racing. They are not, in short, a car maker that looks at a highlighter pen and says, yes, let's paint the whole car like that. But they do have a performance car department who make cars like the popular Octavia VRS and now this the all-electric Enyaq Coupe IV VRS. And you can't miss it with its lit up crystal face grille and luminous paintwork, which is called Hyper Green, by the way. You don't have to go for this really, really bright color. There are more subtle colors available. Partly, all this showing off is to make the Enyaq Coupe IV VRS stand out. Skoda, as you probably know, is part of the Volkswagen Group, which shares a lot of its same components. In this case, that means something called the MEB platform, and more specifically, it means it's mechanically almost identical to the Volkswagen ID5 GTX we tested a few weeks ago. So, we get 300 horsepower, twin electric motors, all-wheel drive, and a 0 to 60 time of 6.4 seconds, which is about the same as the ID5. You also get a 77 kilowatt hour battery, which gets you about 323 miles range. And while we're on about it, from now on, I'm going to call it the Enyaq VRS because its full name, I just don't have time for right now. However, at £54,370, it's a clear couple of thousand pounds cheaper than the ID5 GTX though, and is equally well equipped. Highlights include matrix LED headlights, a panoramic sunroof, three zone climate control, a heated electrically adjustable driver's seat, and a self parking system. In terms of boot space, you get 570 litres, and that's a little bit less than the non-coupe version, which gets 585 litres, and it's more than the ID5, which gets 549 litres. So is it good? Yes, it's a decent size, and it's a usable shape. This button, however, is a little bit of a stretch. That sleek coupe roofline does mean that bulkier items are going to be a bit of a struggle unless you fold the rear seats down. When it comes to charging, yes, you've guessed it, the Enyaq VRS will do it at about the same rate as the Volkswagen ID5 GTX. And that is 135 kilowatts, and that means you can get an 80% charge in about half an hour, which in warm weather, which we're not blessed with today, is about 250 miles. So on that note, I'm going to get inside the car if you don't mind. If you're tall, which I'm not, then you have to duck a little bit to get in. But once you're in, it is lovely and spacious. The front seats do obstruct your view slightly. However, the panoramic roof more than makes up for that. And I've even got my own climate control settings to keep me nice and toasty. The flat floor also means there's plenty of room for your feet if you have to be the middle seat passenger. Up front, you're treated to these really smart seats that have plenty of adjustment and they're also really comfortable. And there's also a lot of storage spaces. So there are two cubbies there and another one here. There's also one underneath there, which is a little bit difficult to access, but it's useful nonetheless. Decent sized door bins and these two cup holders here, although are practical, in a way they're not because they obstruct your access to these shortcut buttons along here. And that's a shame because they are extremely useful. In fact, Skoda makes a better fist than any of its Volkswagen Group brothers and sisters at making a logical cabin layout. Yes, there are touch-only aspects, such as the climate control and volume slider, but the climate touch buttons are always on display and the volume slider is easy to adjust without even having to look for it. Better still, the steering wheel features physical buttons. Hooray! It's not all perfect though, because this driver's display is rather small, it's not customizable, and it's kind of buried in the dash. Although the heads up driver's display does make up for that somewhat. And this touch screen is a lot more responsive than any other Volkswagen Group cars. Oh, and this ledge here to rest your hand on while you're pressing the buttons. Genius. The all-wheel drive offers plenty of grip and traction, even in slippery conditions. And the instant shove of the electric motors is always there. But even though there's 300 horsepower, it doesn't feel all that fast. 
0 to 60 in 6.4 seconds is not exactly earth-shatteringly fast, is it? And a Volvo C40 recharge does it in one and a half seconds faster. And that's because this car is so heavy, it is 2.2 tons. That weight makes its presence felt in corners too. There isn't much body roll, but the Enyaq VRS never feels all that agile. And the firm suspension means it feels rather bouncy too. The best you can say is that it's most suited to faster sweeping roads. On smaller country roads, it seems almost overwhelmed. It is commendably serene and quiet on motorways and dual carriageways. And despite its size and weight, is remarkably energy efficient, which is not usually where cars like this shine. We've seen 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour on a longish motorway run, and given that its official energy efficiency figure is 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour, and cold weather like we've had recently can often cripple battery efficiency, that's not bad at all. And once you get off the motorway or dual carriageway, you can switch the driving mode to B, which gets you maximum braking regeneration, which effectively means you can drive the car on one pedal and maximizes your fuel economy. One thing we did notice though, was that after a little while without a brake, the seats started to feel a little uncomfortable, but the optional comfort seats package brings a massage function that certainly alleviates that particular issue. In the end, the hot version of the Enyaq is a more convincing performance electric car than the Volkswagen ID5 GTX. It's certainly better value for money, but it's still not a brilliant fast car. And the best bits, such as the well thought out interior, are also available on other versions of the Enyaq. And this hyper green colour, well, it's a bit garish. So unless you really like highlighter pens, you might want to spend your money elsewhere. But what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And if you're considering buying a Skoda Enyaq Coupe VRS or indeed any electric car, head to cargurus.co.uk to find loads of great cars for sale from top rated dealers. And with our super clever pricing technology, we'll even tell you whether it's a good deal or not.